Well, BYU signed four, uh, 14 players yesterday. One of them was Jacob Conover, four-star guy, 104th ranked recruit in the country by ESPN. He now joins us on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline. Jacob, welcome to BYU Sports Nation, and welcome to the BYU football family. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. What was yesterday like for you? I know you've uh, wanted to be a Cougar for a long time, and uh, you finally officially inked your name as uh, a future BYU Cougar. You know, it, you know, it was a great feeling. You know, I've been waiting to do this for so long, and to have it finally come true is pretty surreal. Take us through what the recruiting process was like for you. Jeremy and I have uh, have never gone through it. Uh, we don't think we will ever be able to go through it because we're not as good of an athlete as you are. So take us through what this entire process was like. You know, um, it all started sophomore year at Chandler, and, and now I've been going to BYU camps for so long, and to be able to just going through it, taking it step by step with my dad, who's helped me all the way through it. Um, you know, it kind of started off slow, but, I mean, with every athlete, when you get your first offer, it kind of blows up. And, but in, in the back of my mind, I knew I always wanted to play for BYU. Why was that? When did you become a Cougar fan, and when did that set in that, okay, I'm going to go to BYU? You know, I was actually in my dad's arms when he graduated from, from the Y. And I've always had a Y on my chest, and I've been watching uh, since, since I can remember back in the day. I, I've always grown up watching BYU games. Jacob, besides the fact that you had always wanted to play at BYU, why was this program a good fit for you? Um, you know, it's, I, I've been watching it and just seeing the quarterbacks that – I mean, this was quarterback university back in the day and back in its heyday and – um, just seeing all the coaches come through and the players and just being around the campus so much, I knew that the atmosphere of the school itself and the education was going to be a great fit for me. And I know that if I if I get the education part down, I know football is just going to follow all along with it. Do you have a sense of the legacy of Arizona quarterbacks at BYU with kind of Max Hall and, and John Beck and perhaps you in the future? You know, that's kind of funny. You know, they've kind of reached out. And um, I've with Max uh, – Max lives out here and coaches at a high school near me, and you know we would be able to stay it really close. And it was really cool. We saw we saw each other at a tournament, and he told me he was, he just said welcome to the family, and I thought that was really cool. Jacob, I want to know what it was like when you received a uh, a letter from Nick Saban at Alabama. What what in the world? You you talk about you know the greats in college football. What was it like to be offered by that program? You know, um, it was crazy. We went out on a visit and threw for him. I didn't think anything of it. Just, it was just another camp to go to. And then the, we, the coaches had us waiting, and I was wondering why we had to wait. And, and then they told us, you're going to go meet with Saban. You know, it's pretty surreal to go meet with one of the most wingiest college coaches and granted one of the best teams in the country and him say, you know, we have a scholarship for you. And it's, you know, it's pretty surreal, but it's – been through all the hard work that's prepared me with me and my dad, and he's put me in opportunities to succeed. How'd you turn that down? You know, um, you know, uh, I know that BYU is the right place for me, and that along came through talking to family and, and prayer, and ultimately, uh, you know, sometimes the most um, glamorous items aren't always the best for you. For those that, that haven't watched your film or don't know a lot about your skill set, why don't you give everybody an idea of what your skill set is and, and really what type of player BYU is getting in you? You know, I, I kind of consider myself a smooth operator. I'm cool, calm, and collective under pressure. And, you know, I live, I live for the moments that are when everything's on the line. And, um, you know, I hope to transition uh, the winning from Chandler all the way to BYU. 10,000 passing yards plus, 100-plus touchdowns, three state titles. I, that's as good a high school career as you can have. Gunnar Romney was your boy as well, and you'll be with him back at BYU. We'll see what happens with mission plans or not with him. You'll get at least one season with Gunnar, but how anxious are you to connect with Gunnar at BYU in the end zone? You know, it's, it, I mean, we had an unreal connection here at Chandler, and I can't wait to continue that at BYU. You know, he's a stud player, and I know, we've built that connection for the past few years, and I know that it's going to live on at the Y. You know, over the last couple of years, this has become more and more prominent in the recruiting scene, and that's actual recruits going out and recruiting other players, like, hey, come and play with me, or if you come here, look what we can do together. You have done that with other recruits uh, that were potentially coming to BYU. What is your message to those recruits? Um, you know, the recruits got to be the, the def uh, they got to be the right player to come to BYU, you know. 
this isn't just like any other university. You know, there's a lot of things that come into going to BYU. And, you know, um, if, I've, if I've got to sell myself out to you to go to BYU, you know, you're not, you're not the right guy. And I think a lot of the recruits that understand what BYU is know what they're getting themselves into. So, you know, I just pitch it out to them. BYU is a place that will not only change your life on the field, but give you the tools to go out and change the world. And I think, you know, that's the biggest thing while we're here. We're here to impact other people's lives, and the, that's the best opportunity at BYU. I'm ready to sign right now. Seriously. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Yes, give, give you've me convinced a, me. Give me a paper. i got to find a fax machine somehow, which is weird still, but <laughs> anyway. Uh, let, we're talking to Jacob Conover, quarterback signee out of uh, Chandler, Arizona on BYU Sports Nation. You have your mission call, right? Tell us uh, when you're leaving and where you're going. You know, I, I leave uh, February 12th for Asuncion, Paraguay. What, what's that like right now as you graduate from high school early and then you prepare for your mission coming up in uh, about seven weeks? You know, it's, it's, I, I can't believe how fast four years blew by. But, you know, I'm, I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. And, you know, with graduating early, I'm, I kind of have a month and a half to, you know, situate, my, situate myself and really focus on leaving for the mission. So uh, how much time have you spent looking at the 2021 BYU football schedule? You know, that was the first, one of the first things I looked at when I knew I was going to go. <laughs> so, yeah, you've got, you know, right out of the gate – being being a guy from the the Phoenix area, right out of the gate uh, that season, you're opening up against Arizona in Vegas. Yeah, you know it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome playing against some of the guys I grew up with, and then we play Utah, and then right back to and then we play ASU. So a lot of these guys that I've played against, I'm gonna be playing against them again. So now, just out of curiosity, do you you don't have the schedule right in front of you? You knew that off the top of your head, didn't you? Oh, I've looked at it. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know what's going down. When you have a tough uh, day in the mission, I want you to flip out that schedule and just be like, okay, it's going to be okay. I'm going to continue working hard, and then I'm going to get ready for all those teams. Well, J- Jacob, totally. we appreciate the time. Uh, congratulations on, one, graduating from high school here uh, really soon, and then uh, congratulations on your mission call, and best of luck, and uh, I guess we'll see you in two years, man. Yeah, awesome. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it.